Hello everybody, it is I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and welcome to Crown Circle Plays MMO. It's been a long time since I've done one of these. Strangely, these are quite popular, but whether this will be, I have no idea. This time I am playing The Division. So I was going to do a series on The Division, um, but there was two problems. One, at the time I was going to start recording, they hadn't updated the driver, the NVIDIA driver, so I couldn't really record. I don't think I could anyway. I may maybe I could have, but I just I couldn't seem to record the division for some reason. And of course, I had to update to the latest driver, but if I did that, my PC could have broke. And I didn't want to do that because there was problems with the uh, new driver that they had. Um, so obviously, they've reverted back to the current driver, and yeah, we're just recording on that. Secondly, this game kind of came out like a day before for people on consoles than PC, because I'm playing on PC. It's like the first Ubisoft game I have on PC. I know, right? God. Um, tell a lie. No, tell a lie. I've got um, Zombie U. You see, yeah, it's just actually my second one. But this is the first, like, big, 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 big one that I have. But anyway, so yes, as you can see, I played The Division for 9 hours and 22 minutes. About an hour, that was just me being idle. And we'll jump in. And I'll pretty much show you what this game's all about. I've strangely been enjoying it. I have no idea why. It's quite repetitive, which I will show you when we get into the game itself. But it's, yeah, it's strangely enjoyable. Obviously, I won't go into any of the main stories as well, so I'll, I'll stay clear of any of that. But I'll, sh I'll just show you, like, the nitty-gritty bits of what The Division is all about so that you can judge for yourself whether you want to buy this game or not. The first problem I have is the loading screen. Yay, it's going to take about oof, a minute. Yeah, I'd say about a minute. Um, these loading screens are a lot longer than, I'd say, Fallouts or Skyrims were. Remember people complaining about Skyrims loading screens and uh, Fallouts loading screens being too long? This is longer. Yeah, this is longer. But you got to bear in mind this is an MMO, but then Swow Talk and sort of jump str well I say straight in it doesn't take this long but then this is a more graphically demanding game of course you know as always everything looks better at E3 than it does you know here people will always complain oh my god this game's been downscaled but to be honest this game looks really good obviously there's a few graphical hitches here and there there's been times I've walked into rooms and I just see like the assets loading up right in front of me um, and there's been missing textures here and there I've seen that as well so yeah, there's, there's been quite a few bugs at launch, and hopefully we've encountered some of them. Uh, but honestly, this is a this is a, an enjoyable game. It's not for everyone. I, it, it's kind of like you know how when Watch Dogs came out and it was very lackluster. This is kind of the same in a, in a in a manner of speaking. Watch Dogs promised you all this hacking that you could do, which you could. But it was pretty much, it was what it said on the tin, but you didn't enjoy it as much as you thought as you would. Unfortunately, there we go. Luck in the dark zone. Not a lot of people come out. Okay, so it's night time now. The day and night cycle, ooh, we have unlocked spray stripes. Urban snow, weapon skin. Oh, because I unlocked it on uh, Uplay. Right, let's, let's go in. As you can see, I have uh, done the medical wing, tech wing, and security wing. It's like, uh, it's not really a spoiler, but it's like one of the first things you'll encounter Unless, well, you know, it's you could literally go through the whole game and not do any of the side missions. So yeah, if you want to do that, you do that. But um, right, I need to go to my rewards vendor, which is all the way back here. Thank you. Oh, isn't he nice? Hi, rewards vendor. Take a look before it's all gone. I'll take my stripes. Thank you. Back next time. Maybe. Um, right. So the first thing which I'll show you about this area, obviously. Um, you have these wings which you can upgrade. How do you... Thanks. How do you upgrade them? You gotta go out and you got to go and do where are they? Where are they? Where are they? These sort of missions. You got encounters and then of course you got the main missions as well. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna go on about something which I'll, I'll block up. So uh, encounters are just sort of like small things that you can do, just every now and then and then of course these things are like the main missions of the game um, obviously if you do the main missions you get more medical wing supplies and all that if you just do these yeah you get like 60 so you know as you can see as well I've nearly finished the medical wing I've only got three more unlocks to get 
Um, so we may even go and do that now. Thank you. That's that's good to hear. I will. I shall restock. Lovely. Um, right. I don't know. I don't know why this needs to sh tell me about three times. I'm getting told there. I'm getting told out there. And I must be getting told when I walk in. When I walk to the door, aren't I? Yes. Well, sort of ish. But you know what I mean. Um, right. So, what is the story on the division? Well, it's pretty simple. On Black Friday, a pathogen got released onto some money, right? And a lot of people got sick, and it spread worldwide. And uh, I get, I guess this is set in December now, December-ish. I guess it's like set Christmas time, because of course you can see the decorations as well. Um, but I imagine it's this is not this has recently happened. I'd say, I'd say this is probably about a month after Black Friday. Um, so maybe maybe it could even be Christmas Day now. I have no idea. I don't exactly know what the in-game clock is. No doubt somebody will tell me, um, but I don't exactly know how much time has passed. Um, so yes, there's a pathogen going around, and a lot of people got sick to the point where a lot of people have died. I'd say well over a billion people, maybe even more than a billion people around the world died. A good couple billion, I think. So the population is reduced by about half. I'd say because there's about seven billion people in the world. I don't, I don't know the exact numbers. Um, right. So what shall we do? We've got this entire map to explore. There's obviously the dark zone as well. I've not explored the dark zone. I mean, I probably could. I could probably go over here and see what this mission is. Um, discover the dark zone. The dark zone's walled off, and with good reason. It's where the infection hit hardest, to the point where no one, not us, not LMB, not anyone, could hold it. Now it's a no man's land full of people willing to take their chances with the virus to get away from the factions in the streets. And what happens behind those walls? Well, very little of it is good. Yeah, basically the Dark Zone is where anything... I think it's... I, I've not done the Dark Zone, so don't quote me on this. I think this is where anything goes. So, as a, you're a Division agent. You're, you're an agent of the Division. Um, and when you go into the Dark Zone, you can go rogue. Yeah, you can go... You can become a, a rogue... Uh, I, th I I guess as well. This is where, again, don't quote me up because I've never been in Dark Zone. I guess this is where other players can hang out as well, where you can encounter other players. You can't really encounter other players in the main game unless you are grouped with them, which I guess is fair enough because of course you don't want to see all these people roaming around. You don't want to see like a million people roaming around on this one spot right now. It would be nice to see like the odd player every now and then, just the random player, but eh, they don't seem to do that. Right, what do I want to go do first? I think I'll actually go get the survival guide first. So, of course, there's uh, unlocks as well. Uh, there's survival guides, which is just like sort of guides people, not not players, just sort of characters have left behind for you to discover. There's echoes as well, which I sort of like. If you've ever played, um, uh, oh, what's it called? Oh, my mind's gone blank. What is it called? Everybody's gone to the rapture. You know how you'd see the cutscenes and they would show cutscenes with like lights a silhouette of a person with the lights it's sort of like that except the, the the silhouettes aren't moving and it's like I'd say it's sort of like this but it's like dotty I want to see if I can find a echo for you now um, I want to salute you but I I don't know how to salute you but there we go yeah and it just sort of plays the audio as well I even I actually encountered a Shaun of the Dead reference in one of these echoes as well lovely Lovely. Thanks. I, th that's one thing that bothers me, is that every time I go past a random person like this, they mention me carrying a gun. Yet, you cannot, f well, not that I'm aware of, you cannot actually put your gun away properly. So, I, I mean, is there, is there a button? I don't know. I'm going to put myself on auto run so it's easier. Uh, and shift, so I'm running. I... Don't th I've gone past the survivor guide. Wow. I don't think you put your gun away. So it always annoys me when I'm going past a person and they're like, Oh, be careful with that thing. Don't point that thing at me. I'm just thinking, shut up. Just shut up. Um, survivor guide is... Not here. It's supposed to be here. Unless oh, it's probably upstairs. Ooh, of course it would be. Uh, squeaky voice. Up the stairs. Respectful, inspiring. I was gonna say I thought it said that word wrong then. Um, survival guide, survival guide, survival guide. Lovely. And of course, if you look at the actual guide itself, I can go to the thingy. Thank you. Uh, field data. Da, 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 da. Survival guide. And this is what survival guide is. It's pretty much just a wall of text. 
if you're interested in a wall of text. You want to read that? There you go. Enjoy. You can pause every now and then. But I don't really... Oh, bloody hell. I didn't realise this gives you a reward for finding them all. Ooh, I didn't realise that. Alright. Um, yeah, so I, I don't really look at the survival guides. I'll listen to the phone recordings and um, the missing agents. Uh, it's not really anything. I'll listen to the echoes as well. Uh, incident reports I'll listen to as well. I'll, I'll, I'll show you um, exactly what um, these phone recordings are all about. For, for example, there's a, this. I, I like this. This is a very sweet... Um, thing. It's like something, it's like a phone recording before this all happened, before the world ended. It's just so sweet. It's, a, it's about a girl who won to go see the Nutcracker. So I'll play both of them while I'm going from um, a location, which I want to, I'll, I'll show you like the main meat and potatoes of the game. Um, so this is the first one. It's, it's just sweet. It's just, I like it. Hey, this is Allie from 89.8, your home for the best music. Am I talking to Naomi? Yes. How old are you, Naomi? I'm nine. Well, Naomi, you are a very lucky little girl because if you can answer one question, you're going to be a finalist for a chance to see the Nutcracker at the Lincoln Center. Yay! Now Yay! listen carefully. Can you tell me who wrote this song? It's Peter Ellis Tchaikovsky. My grandma taught me that. You've got a very smart grandma, and you're a very smart girl because you're now entered to win those tickets. Keep listening, and you'll find out if you won real soon. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, bye. And of course, if we go back, I go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. And the second one. Oh, bug up, bug up, bug up, bug up, bug up, bug up. I, I, you have to click it once. I don't like that. I, I prefer to double click. Hello, oh, well. This is Naomi. Hi again, Naomi. This is Allie from 89.8 again. And I have some good news for you. What? Princess, you are going to see the Nutcracker at the Lincoln Center. Grandma, we won. We won. So, who are you going to take with you? My grandma. <laughs> well, you tell Grandma to make sure you have a great time, okay? Okay. Now, put your Grandma on the line so we can get her those tickets for you. Okay, Grandma! The only thing I don't like about that phone recording is that when he's all like... Uh, well, so when he's all like, uh, well, I've got good news for you. And then she says what with a British accent. Listen to it again. I don't know what... She's American. You can tell she's American. Because she has an American accent. And yet, for some reason, in the phone recording... Oh. Hello, this is Naomi. Hi again, Naomi. This is Allie from 89.8 again. Listen. And I have some good news for you. What? Prince? What? That you're not British. You're not British. I don't know. Um, I love how she sounds surprised like, Huh? Why are you calling me? I'm thinking... Well, you entered a competition. There's only one reason why he'd probably be calling you. Because you've won, so, you know. But, you know... If you were to win, if you got called by a company to say, "Hey, you're, we're a competition," for a competition, you'd probably st still act dumb as well. You know, if you, you, get, you get something like, "Hello, this is so and so from whoever," and you're thinking, oh, "I entered a competition to there," and you'd be like, "Yes, hello. Why are you calling?" You just you would just pretend. Um, right. So uh, arms deal uh, disruption. So I need to actually disrupt the arms deal. By shooting these people. Die. Don't you shoot your shotgun at me. Uh, oh yeah, I should probably point out this is a first person shooter. Uh, the arms deal. I mark the supplies for JTF pickup. Does that mean I've got to defend it as well? I think I've got to defend it. Uh, I do. Oh god, a minute. Oh, that's going to be tricky. Indeed. I see them over there. And I'm going to drop down my turret. So that if they come in front of the turret, they'll get shot at. Explosive device detected. Explosive device? What? Where? Where? Oh! Hello! That's you. Kaboom! Lovely. Uh, keep away from me! Die! Um, 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 you! Get here. Uh yes. The I, I I wouldn't say I won't say the EA uh, the EA what? The UI is perfect in this game. You know what I should have done? See now this this is actually a uh, flaw I've encountered with this Morning. combat system as well. 
If I wanted to, I could have left that guy lingering. Um, and not shot at him until the timer ran down. And then once I shot at him, these enemies wouldn't appear. So there's no set enemies that appear. It's just however many you kill in the allocated amount of time. So if I if I drop if I got them all down to just one enemy and I left that enemy until the timer ran out, then all I would need to do is after that timer is just kill that one person and hooray, I've done. So I don't need to kill anyone anyone else. Which makes it a little bit easy. Really. I get this as an MMO. But I don't know. And now I've got experience credits and uh, tech wing supplies as well. Cargo secured. GTF notified for pickup. Good to know. Um, so yeah, that's that's a flaw I've encountered there. Um, right. Let me see if I can do one of each thing. So uh, I've got an encounter up there. I've got to walk all the way over there. Mm. Although I guess I yeah I'll do that as well. Also, because I've got fast travel now. I'm only around the corner, but I'm gonna fast travel. Look how slow, I'm only really going there, but look how slow the fast travel actually is. To be honest, you might as well just walk it. That is how slow it is. You might as well just walk it. Um, right, what else have I got about this game as well? There was something else I was going to mention, but I completely forgot what it was. Um, I don't know. I have completely forgot. But yeah, I just hate that bug that you can actually not kill any enemies until the timer runs out. Cause that, yeah, because that, that was an encounter like in, the, in a main mission where you had to defend somebody uh, who was deactivating a device. And there was like this big boss. I was playing it in hard mode as well because you can play it in hard mode. Oh, that's good to know. Um, restock as well. And there was like this... Playing it in hard mode was even more difficult, and I was oh when you obviously when you when you're walking this room as well you see other agents, you see other players, but when you walk out uh, into the main world you don't see anybody. Yes, going back to my main point, God's sake, um, <laughs> when uh, I was defending that person, there was like these enemies that I killed the enemies. Okay. You are now leaving the safe area. And then of course there was this big boss, and I thought. And bear in mind, this is like a six minute timer I had to defend this person. So I'm thinking, well, I'll just have this person shoot at me, who was pretty much just hiding behind an enemy, hiding behind this this whole time. And I'll just spray fire, like, every now and then, just to make a chicken out. And I just, I survived, I just, I survived. I, I just, I waited until the timer ran down, and then I killed her. And then, and then it was like, oh, mission complete. Okay. Whereas when I had done it before, because I had actually died the first time, I had killed her and I still had three minutes left, and the whole bunch of enemies still appeared. So it's it's a flaw that that's a flaw there. You know, I didn't they didn't really think about that properly. Um, right, so we're going over here for the hostage rescue. So there's uh, hostage rescues. There's uh, that one as well, which was uh, defend the supplies. There's finding the source of the virus, finding like the pathogen as well. Um, Agent, we've got a supply crate down that needs some attention before someone else finds it. Don't we care. Do Ooh, missing agent. Hell yes, I'll do that. I don't care about the um, supply drop. Right, so I need to go. Oh, I need to go that way. Oh, no, I'll do that later. It means I've got to go that way to the supply drop, and I don't want to do that. Um, but we'll do the hostage rescue. Um, missing agents is just sort of like. Um, Hostile presence detected. Oh, yeah, I was wondering why are you telling me security error? Because, of course, I've got to. Uh, die you! Oh, so Oops! I'm sorry, man! <laughs> I didn't expect you to get. Oh, hi! Hi! Melee you! Melee you! There we go. I wonder if there's an achievement to uh, melee an enemy down. I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna find out! Come on! Melee! There we go. I guess there's not. Or maybe there's an achievement to melee multiple people. Um, you also get med packs as well, so if I just let this guy shoot at me or damage me a little bit. Get get out of cover. Get out of cover. Um, damage me a little bit. Come on. Come on. You could, you could literally shoot me in the head right now. Oh, whatever. As you can see, I have uh, lost one health bar as well. If I use a med pack, it has been replenished. Um, obviously, if you um, go past, you can see like the little cuts in your health bar. If it goes past that, then you've lost that health bar. Um, if you're still in that, if you're still in a 
a section of the three bars, then it will regenerate, regenerate over time, as you can see. Um, right, secure the area. Well, I have. Oh, there's an enemy over there. Hi! How you doing? Don't mind me, I'm just going to drop my turret. Just because I can. I shouldn't really use the turret. The turret is a very weak thing, but I use it anyway because it's kind of fun. Thank you. Go to you too. Die now. Uh, come on, come out. Come out. Come on. Come on now. Oh, oh. There's an enemy back there as well, apparently. Oh, hi. Hello. Can see you there. And you're dead. Oh my god, he won't let up. Pick up some loot. Um, right, you're dead. Right, now I need to get the key in and let these people out. Oh dear, I'm disorientated. That's not good. There's like little smoke bombs that can disorientate you as well. Um, right, so... Uh, here's the key. Thank you very much. Hello, thank you very much. Uh, get this one as well. Uh, yeah, so you get so you actually get some loot drops as well. Um, as you can see, this is like your equipment screen as well. And uh, depending on what's better and what's worse, you decide what you want to wear. Obviously, I'm not going to wear that because that is worse in uh, secondary DPS, uh, which I think is for my secondary weapon. Yes, uh, but it will increase my skill power as well. Because you can have three weapons. You can have your main, your secondary, and uh, the sidearm as well. And of course, all these things which you go for um, improve your attributes. These do nothing. These do nothing cosmetically. Uh, your cosmetic is in your appearance. So, um, if I show you now, I've got a cap. You can't you can't really see your, your cap very well because it's blurred out. But if you want to, you can go through the caps which you pick up. You can pick these up in a variety of things. You can maybe get it from an enemy. It could drop from an enemy, I should say. You can get it from um, containers. You can get it from helping people as well. So they're just all like, oh, thanks to this can of food, here's a hat. Thanks to this can of food, here's a jacket. So it's kind of weird. Um, and there's all different types of hats as well. Um, so if you're really big on that, then you can do that as well. And of course, there's jackets as well. So this is a jacket I've got. I've got the soft leather jacket. There's the uh, simple leather jacket as well. Ooh, I like that. Uh, Parker as well. Uh, iconic division jacket. Uh, down jacket, but I will go back to my soft leather jacket. And of course, there is shirts as well, which you can't really see. Not really, because it's hidden underneath your jacket. But, you know, oh, I don't want a cardigan. I want a... Uh, let's go with that one, yes. Uh, and of course there's scarves as well, if you're big into scarf, which, eh, you know, you can. Is there a way to, oh, there's what I was going to say, is there a way to unequip, but there is. Uh, I'll go for the simple neck as well. So yes, that's what it does, that's the cosmetic side to uh, the division. Obviously, uh, your character will not look too much different from anyone, to be honest with you, because everyone's wrapped up warm. Everyone is wrapped up warm in these sort of clothes. Um, but I just kind of hope that in the future they will drop, I don't know, some sort of epic clothing. So, I don't know. Uh, let's go to this encounter as well. I don't know how long this, this video is going to be. But I want to do um, a, 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 a a blue one, a green one. So, I've done a green one. I want to do a yellow one. As I've, wait, I've done a yellow one. I've done a green one. So, I need to do a blue one now, which is uh, JTF support. Um, which I think is just defend the area, I guess. Yeah. So that is the only problem I do have with this game, is that it is incredibly repetitive. I have no idea why I'm enjoying it. I have no idea why. Because I'm I don't really I'm not really big on games that are repetitive. It's like Swotor as well. Swotor is incredibly repetitive, yet I still enjoy that. Um, but yes. I am enjoying this game and I plan to max level to this. Which I believe is 30? I looking at the map, the the highest area is level 30, which is there. DZ06, Dark Zone 06, 29 to 30 as well. I'm looking forward to entering the Dark Zone as well, but not looking forward to enemies killing me. Hi! You're gonna counter random enemies as well. Well, that's not gonna help. The AI is pure genius, as you can see. Thank you, I picked that up. Oh, 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 I saw a phone. Phone, 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 phone. My phone. Damn it, you would be over there. I'll just jump over the vents. Phone recording! And we've got Cindy with us now, live on the phone from New York. Cindy, what can you tell us about the current situation? 
Yes, Stephen, it's a chaotic scene here at the Lincoln Tunnel as citizens try to push through the JTF checkpoint before it closes indefinitely. There's still no that official word on how long this lockdown will be in effect or what relief Sarah will provide to those who are left behind. Many without power. Taking smaller on fire! Intercepting JTF radio More traffic. On fire. Okay, small you just, just cut out like that, thanks. Thank Alright, I get it! Small arms fire! I get it! I get it! Oh crap, I didn't mean to drop like that. Alright. Kill you as well. Just probably reload. Just probably drop down as well so I'm not being hurt. Uh, drop that there so it's attacking enemies. Oh dear. I'm losing health. The AI. The, yeah, seriously. I've mentioned it before, but the AI isn't fantastic. Um, it can be difficult at times. There have been times I have died because of the AI. Um, but, eh, I'd give it a solid 6 out of 10, to be honest. Um, oh god, I'm going to have to defend the area as well, aren't I? So I defended from these enemies, and now I've got to speak to the JTF officer, and then I've got to defend him. For about, I don't know, 2 minutes-ish. Alright, talk. Yeah, talk to JTF officer, and defend the JTF officer. Lovely. <sighs> From over there. I shall use my explosive thing as well. Just because just cause I can. Uh, wait for the enemy to get in range. Come on, enemies. Oh, did it? Wait, did it not hit? Did it not hit you? Oh, you bugger. Oh, well. Uh, oh, you get grenades as well. So, if I want to throw a grenade. That's EMP'd him. Although... I didn't really realise that was an EMP, but hey, I EMP'd it! <laughs> We're just shocking him as well. Be w be wary as well, you can be hit by your own- No, 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 no! Don't you dare grenade me! You can be hit by your own grenades, so just be wary of that. Uh, which I guess is fair enough, uh, I guess there's some sort of realism. Uh, obviously, yes, there is some sort of upgrade system as well. Come on, let me kill you. Are you going to throw a grenade, are you? There we go. Uh, any more? Any more? Any more? No? No? Probably Morning. soon. Uh, while I wait for them to come around the corner, I'll show you the uh, upgrade system as well. If I can find it properly. I'm not finding it properly. No, no, nope, 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 nope. Abilities as well, so you can choose what abilities you want to go for. Um, talents as well, you only get one slot per every sort of level, so I can get another slot at 15, so I can unlock another one of these abilities. And of course, perks. Perks are just something which happens to your character uh, when you unlock um, sections at. Uh, the headquarters. Um, so you get to keep them. There's no selecting which ones you want. This, it occurs to your character, so you don't have to worry about. Oh, maybe I'll go for this one, or maybe I'll go for this one, which is quite nice. Come on, die. Lovely. It gets to the point I can literally just walk up to them and just be shot at, because you know, yeah, I use the med pack. I, I'm, I'm pretty much taking a bunch of damage, but I could just use a med pack and then go back to base and just get some more med packs and just replenish that, so, you know. And I've done that mission now, so we shall now do a side mission, I think. Agent, we've got a supply crate down that needs some attention. No, we're not doing the supply Agent, crate. Agent, we hear some innocent people are being attacked by someone called Wild Child. I Ooh. need you to intervene. Can I just mention this reminds me of a scene we did in Season 2, so if you need any advice, let me know. Sorry, Season 2? So, what? Can you, can you explain that for me? No? No, you're not going to explain? Alright. Uh, so we'll do this bounce mission and then we'll finish up. But yeah, it's it's an it's an enjoyable game, honestly. But it's not the best. It's better than Watch Dogs, I'd say. People are just bitching about it because they're all like, Oh, it's been downgraded. Oh, it means it's like a 2 out of 10. I actually saw a review of somebody who gave it like a 3 out of 10. I'm thinking, are you serious? This is a perfectly working game. Obviously, yeah, there's bugs, but it works absolutely perfectly. It's it's solid. Yeah, sure. There was problems that launched with the servers. Everybody was being dis disconnected. There was like mic um, disconnections as well. There was Sierra disconnections, whatever they were. But this is definitely not a two out of ten. To me, this is a solid seven out of ten. To me. Hi. Oh, did you just clip through? Did you just clip through me? Wow. Six out of ten now. No, it's definitely it's definitely a seven out of ten for me. I would definitely have to say. Um. It could do with improving, but and but I'll stick around with this game as well because I don't know. I just really I don't know why I'm enjoying it despite it being a seven out of ten. 
Reload, and now I need to kill this guy, but let me just drop this. Uh, let's explode you as well. Come on. Oh, that completely missed you. Alright. Whoa! Being hurt there. Um, die, die, die. Come on, come out of there. Or headshot you. Ha 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 ha. Come on. Come on, boy. Out you come. I don't belong here. Uh, objective complete. Neutralize first lieutenant. Now I need to neutralize the second lieutenant. Thank you. I'll take that loot. Reload. And away they come. Uh oh, there's a bunch of enemies this time. I will... Kill you. I hope. Or maybe not. I'm just going to wait for my turret as well. It'd be nice if there was a first person mode here. But unfortunately not. Haha, <laughs> you tripped. I mean, as I got to kill you. Ooh! Something cosmetically. I wonder what that would be. Uh, hi! Right, great, great sneak in there that I can still, you know, see your head and kill you. But, you know, you still run, I guess. Come on. Come on. There we go. Bye bye! Uh, secure the area as well, so basically just kill you. And dead. Thank you. Ooh, a cool. Thing. Neutralize a wild child. Ah! Oh, a restock. Lovely. Always look for a restock. Yes, you can play with friends as well. I probably always, I probably mentioned that. I don't know. Um, fully restock. Lovely. Lovely. Oh God! Oh God! No! 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 What the hell was going on there? See, you can die. You can die if they're tough enough. Uh, I'm gonna throw that over there. Where's Wild Child? Oh, he's up there. All right. Whoa, who's attacking me? Who's that? How is he sniping me? I have no idea. Uh, right. Uh, 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 yeah, you. There you go. Ah, oh, come on, come on, die already. Ah, oh, they're so far away. I need to get into an area where I can actually hit them, but not I'm not being hit. Oh god, I'm hitting the bloody, <laughs> the bloody truck. Stop going up there! Right, you're dead. Give me some perfect shots there, thanks. Why are you going up and down? Stop that! Bloody die already. There we go, you're dead. Um, who is sh who is able to hit- oh, bloody hell. I'm being hit from the left, I have no idea how. I'm being hit from the left. Oh, wild child! Hi. How you doing? You right? Yeah. Can I use my turret now? I can. Uh, can I use my bomb now? I can. Lovely. And I'll get my other gun out just just so I can show you my other gun as well. Oh, bloody hell! Oh, I was losing a lot of health there. Bloody hell! Who's? I swear, it feels like somebody is attacking you behind me, but they're not. They're just attacking me, and I'm losing a lot of health. Need to heal. Um, oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I need to wait until he's moving. Because, of course, yes, some bosses, some people like this do have um, uh, things that will do. So I think he will just start attacking. Yeah, you can see that marker there? It means that he's going to do a bunch of firing right now. So you might want to stay down while he does this. And then once he's finished. Start shooting him. Oh, I thought he finished. Once he's finished, start shooting him. And now I've got rid of his shield, and I can just get him down. Uh, there we go. Lovely. Great work. We're really nailing this, you and me. It's so exciting. Which is why I don't understand why the rating slipped. Anyway, over and out. What do you mean by ratings? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, ooh, is there anything behind here? Oh. Well, that's disappointing. Ah, so anyway, that has been The Division. Yeah, if you, if you want a solid 7 out of 10 experience, get it. Yeah, it's 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 a good third-person shooter. It's just not fantastic. Maybe, obviously, because the, the problem I have is that there's some features they haven't even added. They should have added in day one. Trading isn't into this game. I get the feeling there's not much of an end game as well. Like apparently they're going to add a bunch of content in two weeks' time, but there's not much of an end game there. 
I just, obviously, I've never reached the end game, but I've heard, I've heard things. I've heard things that there's not much of an end game once you reach level 30. Obviously, yeah, it's. I guess, yeah, they're adding stuff in two weeks' time. Um, so they're giving people a chance to get up to that point in two weeks. And then, of course, bam, they'll add the end game or whatever they'll add in. Um, so there we go. So that's been The Division. Link in the description if you want to get it. I was going to do a series, like I said, but nah. You just got this instead. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I have no idea how long this episode is going to be. And I will see you next time. And a farewell to you.